Hello and welcome to a Smurf P video and today we are looking at Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy Jetfire. This is um, a figure that I probably wanted for a very long time and this is um, I think this is the second run that they've done on this figure and from what I've seen on other people's reviews is wow it's amazing and, and I've been a long fan of me I love the Generations version of Jetfire I mean I've got a feeling that this is going to be the ultimate version due to the size and being the correct size. But um, I really love that version anyway. And I love in the background, we've got a Mega Red down here finding some Decepticons. You, got, you can see his blasters in the background. And then you got some Seekers firing in. And the, the War for Cybertron Siege, he begins his journey as a, a Decepticon. And he's probably more involved with the Decepticons than in the original G1 as well. Uh, we got the arc on his side, which is lovely. You can see his foot there. So that's about to take off because he's joined that fight. And on the back, you got some promo shots of um, armored, without armored G1 version. Now, this is based on the toy, if I remember correctly. The toy was, um, oh, what was it? It was from St. Kaus anyway. And that's an homage to that. And I actually freaking dig that as well. And on the side, I really love uh, the side art. You can see... Because this is such a big packaging, I, I've probably seen more details on here. You got Prime, Chromina, Chromina, I cannot say that word, Sideswipe, Red Alert, uh, Damaged Hound by the looks of it, Prowl. You get some of the others down here. And some of the fight scenes between Artemis and Megatron as well. So it's nice to, to see some more of that detail. So I'm going to crack this open and if I can keep turning it around, you're not spinning at all. And... Let's see what he looks like outside of the packaging. You know what? I always felt like um, when I opened the figure up, I was going to be surprised. But, oh, damn, this this figure is absolutely phenomenal. I'm absolutely in AWOL how good Hasbro have made Jetfire look. Um, <sighs> I'm speechless. <laughs> it's that good. I'm going to take my camera off the, the stand because the figure's so big. I, I'm not going to be able to give you the detail without using my dodgy, shaky hand. So I'm going to apologize, but this is the only way to share, I guess, the, the experience with you. And I will try and work on my shaky hands, not shaking, and perhaps get my light into a better thing. So first of all, he has really nice chest piece and I like and it helps if I don't do that is you can give it, just try and carefully get it there and carefully do it. quality is the first word that you can spin this around and show the Olibot uh, symbol as well as the Decepticon symbol because um, in that first show he has that Decepticon sign and he rips it off with contempt for the Decepticons. So I do dig that. I'm trying to... Uh, I guess one thing that's bugging me is these blue eyes aren't perhaps that crisp. Um, I'm not sure that's because it wants a little lead pipe in there, but it just does not come up very well. I mean, when, when I talk about the, the Generations figure, the eyes were just Oh, phenomenal. So uh, perhaps a little bit of disappointment from me in terms of that, unless I'm missing something. Yeah, you got to put your light on it to get the blue eyes to come out. I'm not a fan of that really because I'm not always going to have a light around. Um, just on the top, you can see, once again, they've, they've done some fabulous detail throughout the figure to um, show it, etc. Because um, one thing that I've been not critical in the past is this detail is what makes up this figure. Absolutely. It's got some nice pegs on it where you'll be able to um, stick the battle modes on. Got the wings in you can I believe you flick this out as well or I could be wrong and then you stick a piece on there which I'll hopefully show in a minute the backpack so the figure itself does feel very very sturdy 
I do not feel like it's going to fall unless I put some real pressure on it, which um, in my mind is probably a little bit silly. But the backpack is very, very nice. Even the back of it, I mean, they've just gone all out in terms of just making it look really, really nice. And really, really strong. That looks really good. It looks really good. It is good. He's got some nice movement there. Some nice movement there. Let's just put this back in here. Some blurry, blurry hands. So he's got he's got some nice nice movement as well. You know, you, you, you can do stuff to get him into some really decent poses. Maybe not that. It just feels like a really strong piece. So Hasbro have done a fantastic job with this. Absolutely. Oh, so I don't lose the foot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in some other Autobots. So probably the closest in size is uh, Dinobots. Dinobots. Just coming out to just beneath his chest piece, which shows you how big he is. And why he is worth the amount of money you would pay for him. Then we're going to bring in Optimus Prime. And once again, that feels like it should work. I move Dinobot down there. We're gonna bring in a little baby bot jazz. Yeah, yeah, I went off key there. Um, but you, you can see the size difference and, and how big he is. And it just feels like it works really, really well. Fantastic. Um, absolutely. The Hasbro have, I, I say this numerous times, Hasbro, in terms of sizes, have done the sizes uh, perfectly because... That is how big Jetfire was compared to the other bots. Grimlock was that size, Jazz was that size, and Artemis was that size. They have done a superb job with making that happen. So I've got to give them kudos for that. So um, I'm going to go change him into battle mode. Once again, wow, this uh, figure really comes with uh, an armament of accessories. So... Um, you get these two guns, this kind of shield front plate here to take some real, I guess, impact. Um, I'm just debating, does that? I don't think that turns around. That would have been cool. If that turned around, that would have been like the ultimate thing there for Skyfire. He comes with the, the armored helmet, I guess. The one thing for me that um, I would have liked the antennas there. I'm not sure whether that was part of the, the original... Um, basis of the the toy back in the 80s um but that on the the generations one was really cool it comes with these bits up here these missiles here and these missiles on the back so if he's flying he can uh, blast away i guess and then on the side he has two big uh just like shotgun blasts as well um i'm just gonna take my camera off as well i'm sorry you know i'm terrible with this stuff he comes with some blast effects. I'm not a fan of blast effects. If you've watched any of my other Power Ranger reviews, um, not really a fan of them. But just a little close up of some of the guns. They do look phenomenal. Beautiful, beautiful shotgun there. That's, uh, sorry, it's my light. Sometimes not in the best place. Because I have to stand, so I'm trying to move around the stand as well. That just looks really, really nice. Really, really good. And the blue looks like it's a bit more painted on there, so it's not like a big deal. Like with uh, when he's not got the mask on. He's got there. I guess what I would have liked, and I, like I said, I'd probably be a bit pedantic, is something to go on like the legs to protect the legs. Because you're protecting all, I mean, maybe you'd say that all the essential mechanics are, are in there. But um, I think that would have been uh, quite uh, cool as well. I'm going to stay still. Oh, there we go. And we also come with some other blast effects. So you can put this in here and put this in here. And you can put these bits on here. 
it doesn't, whoops, position, it doesn't look that bad, but, um, like I said, not really my thing, but, um, you know, you, you could do that if you wanted to, so that looks pretty cool like that, I like that, armor mode is definitely, definitely quality, perhaps that stays out, um, Definitely a, a, a fan of the armor version of Jetfire as well. Um, so whether you're a fan of that original toy or just a Skyfire, um, the G1 character, this definitely is a figure for you to go grab. Because even with his side, size alone, let alone all the armor and the extra pieces, that's worth the spend on this figure as far as I'm concerned anyway. So um, now that I've showed off the armor form, I'm gonna transform him into jet mode. I guess one of the things that I was just gonna say, I was always quite good that Jetfire didn't really make it past season one. He had a big impact on season one. And then he was maybe in, uh, I like to say one or two, to maybe half a dozen episodes in season two. But that was it, wiped out gone so they sell more toys i always hated that i always hated that so there we go we're gonna go transform him okay once again wow um the the jet mode is um exactly how i want it i'm not gonna say that the the transformation isn't a hard transformation there's a, a lot more steps there's just a couple of little niggly bits that perhaps i wasn't a fan of um i'm not a fan of how this plugs in it does stay in um, and it just doesn't feel as solid on this little section here um, but once again the robot mode is perfect so I can't complain the other bit that I was just gonna gripe about in once again it's probably very pedantic yeah you transform these out and then you connect sorry helps if I keep it on camera you, you connect these here and um, yeah it looks solid enough it sticks in there but you got this hollow bit in the middle because the legs don't collect, connect like you would perhaps a, a, another ORT mode, etc. Um, but once again, um, is it a big deal? No. Um, would I have minded that they not be part of the transformation so this all became a solid? I probably could forgive that. But I guess um, we would probably criticize Hasbro if that happened um, either way. But it's... Uh, once again, it's a, it's a really beautiful side. The jet looks absolutely stunning. Just going to take the camera off. So wobbly hands come in. God, that was a wobbly start, wasn't it? We have this beautiful, beautiful Autobot sound, which we've seen already. And then you have the little robot things in, in there, like a computer bit, similar in the jet. And you have the, the giant backpack, which um, I think was meant to be to collect passengers have passengers in it or maybe it was uh, meant for perhaps uh, deep space flying rather than um, just the air thing I tell you one jet fire that I absolutely loved was um, a Marder jet fire that jet fire was uh, I was gonna say bad Beep. but I won't well I did and you know once again it's just lovely lovely detail on the top of these things and then we just come back to the jet. So, like I said, it's it's a it's a minor gripe for me. And I guess the cool thing about these, I mean, even though I complain about these for uh, robot mode, is you can just plug them in, plug them in like that, and it just looks very, very, very decent as far as I'm concerned. I, you know, it looks better because of the rockets. On the back, so I'll, I'll give it to Hasbro. Uh, moment there where I've said that the blast effects are cool. And the other thing you can do, which I am once again going to try and do on camera, um, so don't hate me, is you've got the the old armor pack for when he's in robot mode, and it all tucks very very nicely together. Very very cool. Um, I love that it all compacts together and can be used for something else. Just gonna gently slot that on there, and then we've got um, battle mode, etc. 
but you can also take the guns and you can put them just a couple of ports down here I think I would have liked some perhaps some on the side there I don't know once again being pedantic there's in fact only two there so uh, limited on fight mode but I don't think he really did that um if, if I recall Jetfire used to just come in draw the Decepticons away and, and kind of go but um this is phenomenal. Very, very impressed with this. It's a beautiful size. Um, and the whole thing, um, sorry, my hand got in the way. The, the whole figure itself, I feel, is a, is, is a very beautiful piece. And, and most definitely, certainly worth the investment. Because even if you brought it and kept it for a year, you sell this in a year you perhaps could make twice your money because it's such a, a very nice figure. If you look after it very, very well, you're certainly going to peep. Unless Hasbro keep doing this um, re-release, which I think they should because there are enough fans out there that may miss out and think in a year's time, hey, I want to buy that. I did. I didn't buy the first the first round of Jetfire and then I saw it up for pre-order from uh, in demand town. Uh, in demand toys. Um, I meant to get it from comics and cutters. I just kept putting it off, thinking, oh, I'll, I'll pre order that later. And, and it went off, oh no. So that's when I quickly jumped on it and thought, I best pre order from okay. in demand toys to get that and Umega Supreme as well, which I, I am certainly even more looking forward to, to getting that beast. But yeah, fantastic figure. Very, very happy with this. If you're a G1 enthusiastic, you definitely want this. It is the the jet fire to have as far as I'm concerned. And that wraps it up. Um I love this figure. It's absolutely stunning. I think I'm gonna spend the weekend playing with it. Um and I thought I'd actually spend most of the weekend actually reviewing it because I thought oh, I have so much to do with this figure. I've got to show off the armor mode, I've got to transform it and it, it hasn't. It's been um what well, probably a, a good couple of hours. That's that's how easy things have been in terms of attachments, connecting it, etc. It's all been very, very smooth. So um, I've enjoyed it. I'm very happy to have Jetfire in my team. Or Skyfire. Let's go. I like Skyfire. Skyfire! Thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, PsychopsSmurd. I'm on Twitter, at SmurdP. No idea what I'm doing there. I've also got a page on Facebook, SmurdP. And embrace the geekiness. Thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.